Leslie Mueller. Welcome to Museum Access, a show that takes you behind the scenes at America's top museums. Today we are at Chicago's Museum of Science and Industry. It's the largest science museum in the Western Hemisphere. So Kathleen, here we are with the U505 behind us. Tell me, how in the world did it ever end up in Chicago? Well, it's a very interesting story oh, about yes. how it ended up in Chicago. It was captured during World War II by Captain Dan Gallery, who happened to be a Chicago native. But if you, if you were less Yeah, you lucky, lucked out if you yeah, got these. Okay. You slept in actually the torpedo room. Oh. So there are two torpedo rooms um, on the boat. We're going to go in the one at the end. And they're similar. They're not exactly identical. If you recall, we're really close to the conning tower, which the Germans used to escape. And the last thing they did before they headed up was remove this cover from the sea strainer. So water, oh, this is the cover this that is went onto this. Yes. And so water. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> yeah. Wow. So oh. this is the diesel engine room. So when the sub was on the surface, it would use the diesel motors. And you can still, after it's been here 70 years, you can still smell the diesel. I don't think the I diesel do smell, smell it. will ever, ever go away. Discover the amazing story about a World War II German sub and its journey to Chicago on the next Museum Access.